Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today I have six Scarlet and Violet booster bundles and we're going to open up every single one of them. So I already took the I already took the SRAM wrap and the cover off. So we're just gonna jump right into the first one here. And each booster bundle has six packs. So if you do the math, six times six, I have 36 packs here, which is essentially a booster box. So that's kind of why I bought six of them. And I was like, well, you know, if you buy six, you essentially get a booster box. And I thought it would be, um, you know, a good way to get a booster box worth of packs. So I'm super excited to open these up finally. We got a reverse Wiglet, reverse Rolts, and we got another holographic Slowbro. So I am doubling up on a lot of cards. Um, not, not that that's a big issue, but it is close to it. I believe it's yeah, it's 198 actual cards. Um, and then you have the secret rares and ultra rares. So it's over a 200 card set all in all. And um, I do feel like I'm getting a lot of duplicates. We got a holographic halucha, uh, which I think that is a duplicate as well. Um, you know, I'm just getting a lot of duplicates for a set that has quite a bit of cards and not too happy about that, but there's really not much you can do. Um, it's just how it goes. I am hoping, I mean, you know, the more packs you open, the better odds you'll get of getting something rare like this, Professor's Research. Uh, I guess it's a full art. I actually never had time to dive into the uh, rarity symbol changes. So instead of like letters like TG for Trainer Gallery or GG for Galarian Gallery and Crown Zenith, it just has, you know, a star, two stars. I think it has two gold stars. So, you know, they changed, um, they changed the rarity system. And I still haven't really found a, uh, I still haven't really looked into it to get it like down pat. But I would say in the older sets, you know, Sword and Shield, I would say that that is a trainer gallery full art. So I would say that is the equivalent of what we just got which I will take that. I do not have that card, by the way, that is, um, you know, that is something I don't have. We got a holographic, <laughs> I still can't really say this, Quaquabble, I guess that's how you say it. It's just such a weird name, Quaquabble. But, anyway, I am looking for, there's a full art, secret rare, um, Gyarados card. That is what I'm looking for. I think yeah, that's basically my favorite one out of all of the secret rares. <gasps> okay, we got a Gyarados EX. Okay, I do know, I did know that this card existed and it is one of my favorite cards. I just love Gyarados. I don't know why. I just think it's such a cool Pokemon. And, you know, the fact that it evolves from, you know, Magikarp, which does nothing. It literally does nothing. But, okay, so I got one Gyarados, and that's, that's good. That's good. That's progress. Um, like I said, I'm looking for that full art Gyarados. That, and... To be quite frank, I don't really think that this set has too many crazy full art Pokemon cards. Um, 
Okay, we got a holographic cleft key. That is a duplicate. All right, we're on to bundle number two. We're six packs in, and we got two, two secret rares. So that's pretty good. I just wish these packs would tear open more easily. They kind of are, they kind of are tricky to tear open sometimes, but um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, ooh, we got a rubber room, which I don't think I have, so I'm gonna put him over there. Uh, yeah, I'm not really, I looked at the, I looked at the, uh, you know, the booklets in, in, yeah, what are they called? The Elite Trainer Boxes. And I gotta say, I'm not really, ooh, we got something. We got a Spidops EX. See, so EXs are actually part of the original number. So like, you can see 19 out of 198. So it's not a secret rare or anything, but they're still like a, they're a special rarity card because they have two stars at the bottom instead of one. But anyway, as I was saying, I'm not really, I'm not really in love with some of the full art cards in this set. Now this is just the base set, so obviously, as you know, the Pokemon Company makes more of these, um, they'll. <laughs> we got another Gyarados. Okay. Well, I'll, t I'll take it, but it's a duplicate. As the Pokemon Company makes more of these sets, and, you know, another set comes out in the Scarlet and Violet era, they'll probably change some things, maybe add more Pokemon, you know, different art. But I gotta say, like, going from Crown Zenith to this set, it's just not even a comparison. I think Crown Zenith has so much cooler artwork and so many more cards that I want. Like, I, I actually want to have a full set of Crown Zenith. And um, still working on pulling a legendary dog from that set. Haven't pulled a single one, but uh, yeah, not. I'm just not really enthralled with some of the artwork for this set. We got a Dondozo holographic. I don't think I have him, so we'll put him in the put him in the do not have pile. Okay, that pack opened up very easily, almost scary easily. But yeah, so it's really sad because honestly, the Gyarados is the only one that I really want. And we got a holographic Maradon, which is a duplicate. I do have him, unfortunately. All right, we are on bundle number three. I'm gonna have to start, uh, I'm gonna have to put like a trash barrel beside me just cause there's so much trash involved in poking up opening up Pokemon cards. Like just crazy. Especially if you open up 36 packs in one sitting. I mean, you know. I don't recommend it, but it's fun. We got a reverse Hypno, which I actually don't think I've seen that card yet. And we got Holographic Indeedee, which I don't believe I have. I get, I'm getting confused because there's so many. I pulled in DD so many times in other sets <laughs> that they're all just starting to blur together. So I might have pulled him in another video and I might have not. But I got a reverse Bisharp, a reverse Pachirisu, and another Slowbro. Slowbro is just popping up all over the place. I think that's like my fifth Slowbro. I 
Hopefully these code parts work. I don't know if the game is set up for this set yet. I think they are because it's officially released, but... Ooh, we got a holographic houndstone. I do not have him. Or her. I, I honestly have no idea what it is. I gotta really start playing the, uh... I gotta start playing my Scarlet game. That way I get familiar with, you know, all the Pokemon. All the other sets, I didn't have to worry about it. But, and we got another holographic Kalucha. So we, you know, to kind of go back to what I was saying earlier, I am getting a lot of duplicates. Not really, not really happy about that. It doesn't show very well for pull rates. And, you know, the Pokemon Company did change. Every pack has a holographic, and there is something in here. So we got a Reverse Cacturin. Yo, we got a gold card. We got a gold Maradon EX card. And that is number 253 out of 198. So that kind of tells you like how large this set is. So, um, you know, it's like, I kind of wish I was pulling more um, secret rare cards or even just EXs. Granted, I don't know how many EXs are in this set. Uh, kind of like that Gyarados EX card that I pulled. I have no idea. So I can't really stand there and complain about it too much. And speaking of EX, we got a great Tusk EX. But, you know, the EXs are actually part of just the normal the normal numbering system, but they're still kind of like a special rare card. So it's like, at the very least, I would like to pull those cards. I understand secret rares and full arts, they're not gonna be as heavily printed because they're supposed to be secret rares, you know, which makes sense. But still, for a set that has 253 plus cards I feel like I should be pulling you know more new cards than I am but I guess we'll just have to find out like I said we're, we're searching for that full art Gyarados card that is what I am that's what I'm highly looking for Granted, that gold card was really cool. I just wasn't expecting to get a, a gold card this soon. Oh, we got a Toxic Pro EX. Okay, that works. I don't have Toxic Pro EX. But. And I'll have to, I'll have to look at the full arts more closely in the, um in the booklets just so that I am more aware of you know the different types of cards I can get there might be something else in there that I really want got another reverse or not reverse but holographic Kalucha Is this going to be the pack that gives us our full art Gyarados? I don't think so. Oh, we got a holographic Ar Arboliva. Ar yeah, Ar Arboliva. I guess that's how you say it. I don't think I have him. Still not really sure how I feel about being guaranteed a holographic card in every pack. Kind of just like ruining, you know, the whole, the whole appeal to shiny cardboard. But, it is what it is. I heard different reasons as to why the Pokemon Company did that. Uh, got a holographic Cyclozar. 
I even heard uh, that they did it because they're up in the prices of Pokemon cards. So to just give you more bang for your buck, they are putting a holographic in every single pack. But we have two booster bundles left. And no sign of that Gyarados. No sign. I think this is the, almost the fastest I've opened up a <laughs> technically a booster box. Sorry about that. Um, my son woke up, so I just had to tend to him for a minute. So we're gonna kinda go through this a little bit quicker. Hey, we got a Binette. Full Art EX. That's what I'm gonna call it. And I do not have that one. Those cards are texturized too, just a little bit. Um, the normal EX cards don't have any texture to them. Last dozen packs or so. So let's try to get this done really quick. Flappy Youngster, Torkoal, Drift Bloom. Ooh, we got an Arcanine EX. That's pretty cool. You know, this is what I'm this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for cards that I didn't pull. And like I said, with a set that has 198 cards. You know, just standard, and then you also have uh, the ultra rares and secret rares. I just feel like you should be getting more, you know, more pulls than I feel like I am getting. But it's okay. It's okay. The whole point of having a secret rare is that it is hard to get. I understand. I'm just one of those people where it's like I'd rather pull it myself than have than buy it online. Ooh, speaking of secret rare, 202 out of 198 is a Scovillain full art. So that's pretty cool, and I don't think I don't think I have him. I would I think I would have remembered pulling that card. So far these, I mean honestly, so far this, these six booster bundles are <laughs> actually really a good return on investment. And it looks like we got something else. We got a Grievard. Full art. My goodness. And then we got a holographic palm up. So that's two hits in a row. I can't believe, like, just how many cards I've pulled so far. Still not the Gyarados, though. Oh, we got the, okay, we got the regular Maradon EX. So there you go. We got the gold version, and now we have the regular version. So I wonder if there's just a regular full art version. All right. Last six packs. Can can we get the card that I want? So far, it seems like every card that I want, I don't get. For example, Crown Zenith, Legendary Dogs. Okay, we got a holographic King Gambit, which I did get the full art version of that card in um, my other video. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually really curious to see how much of this set I have completed already. I haven't had a chance to put any of these cards in my binder, so they're just kind of sitting out. But let's see, can we get Professor's Research, Holographic, so nothing out of that pack.
If I do get that full art here ghost though, I will be super happy. Like I said, I don't typically get the cards <laughs> that I want, and I feel like it goes that way for everybody. If you're not trying to pull the card, then you get the card. But if you're actually specifically looking for it, that's when the universe just says no. But luckily, I still have a lot of packs to open. And luckily, Scarlet and Violet is brand new, so it's um, not slowing down in the slightest with printing. I'm sure there'll be collection boxes with promo cards and all this other type of stuff, which I'm super excited to see. Even though promo cards aren't like crazy rare, it's just cool to see what they come up with. Okay, so so far nothing. Alright, last pack. And it that just so happens to be a Gyarados pack. So can we get Gyarados? Out of Gyarados. Let's see. And you know what? I wasn't even paying attention. I don't even know if there's a code card trick. Holographic King Gambit. And that is it. Alright, well, we did not... We did not come out of this opening without any results we got so many good pulls that's not even funny especially that gold card which is coming up here i mean look at this thing that's so cool i can't even it took me so many packs to get a gold card and you know silver tempest and lost origins and here i am <laughs> one booster box in and I already have a gold card. Well, thanks for tuning into this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like. If you're interested in more of this type of content, which I have plenty of Pokemon card related videos coming, feel free to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one.